this out, but they're moving to the rally point. I did not notice that, and they are shooting away at my phoenixes. I am losing very little units compared to other players right now. I lost 1,500. Only one who lost life is blue right now, but and I could technically see him try and take him on, but the problem is he's got too many stalkers, and I actually do try to to pick these up. I've got enough phoenixes, and. I just got ahead of him, and I mean, right now I have the lowest units lost. Now these marines are going to take, going to start shooting away at my phoenixes. I'm going to pick them up, though. Not losing a single phoenix up to now. I, I lost in another phoenix right here. I am out of energy, which is so annoying. And later on, when you have enough phoenixes, you will never run out of energy. You'll just keep on picking stuff up. I, I mean, I was able to pick like 30 units in a row, just kill all of them, and I did, was not running out of energy. So my phoenixes have regrouped here. There is another dead overlord blood splatter in the air. So there are more zerglings here. There and yeah, I when I came here, I thought these were drones, but if you see, these are actually hydras. So I was actually just waiting for these for these to finish dancing around here and dancing and dancing. Looking looking at the income, I suck. Yeah, I definitely suck. Actually, my macro is usually the best in the whole game, but when I go phoenixes, I need so much micro. My macro just totally goes down. I mean, look at this, I just got my expo now, and I mean, this is even one of the worst games i played, but it's probably most fun to watch since there's constantly something going on. You see these phoenixes are flying everywhere. I did not notice these marines here, and I am picking these up. This phoenix is maybe going to go down, maybe not. No, it's not. These, these marines just got shot down. These uh, marauders were following my phoenixes, but they got killed as well. There is a couple of stalkers right here, but I'm going to run away instead. This... Observer is tailing me, but I am flying into Teal's base again. And yeah, keep too much focus on these Phoenix here. These Dallas are taking out this X, but there are a couple of Hydras here. These Phoenix are going in, going to snipe a couple of workers and an Overlord. Okay, not gonna kill the Overlord. This Spore Color is able to do damage, but with this amount of Phoenixes, I can just dance around without actually getting uh, any lost units. I mean, if you see, I lost like two Phoenixes from before, and I mean. I lost 20 units right now, a couple of those were probes and very few were phoenixes. And there are more phoenixes coming, I'm constantly producing phoenixes, let's see what's going on. I have two phoenixes building, as always, I'm actually able to keep my phoenix production almost perfectly here. I'm just transferring probes, Vegeta is getting a robo facility, another nexus, dark templars, stalkers and the weapons upgrade. Weapons upgrade is always very useful if you're getting dark templars since I mean, look at this. They do now 50 damage from 45. They'll be doing 55 damage with the next level, so 5 damage per level. It makes a huge difference. Now, this robotics facility is out to get a, what do you call it, observer. Because I think we spotted a dark shrine somewhere. I was pretty sh I'm pretty sure... Okay, I, it might be another game, but I know one game I spotted a dark shrine while harassing, and we had to get observers. Or there might be a ghost cave. No, 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 no reason for observers. No, no banshees. No dark, sh no dark shrines. No nothing here. My phoenixes are there. They are picking up this mineral and totally obliterating it. Looking at the income tab, boom, dead. So there are a couple of stalkers here. They are going to blink in. This, this is what I hate. Blinking stalkers are so annoying. So yeah, I actually do pick up a probe or two here to p to kill them, and. Things that are continuing to fly around. I'm going to kill one of these uh, overlords right here. There is a spore crawler from which I run away, but you know, I can take a hit or two every now and then, so I can actually just fly in and pick off some stuff. What else is going on? There is Expo going up for Vegeta. I did not rally point this. I never do. I always forget to rally point this Expo for some reason. And well, these Phoenixes are sweeping over the map. I mean, Phoenixes are basically instant map control in, 3B, in 3v3s on Arakan Citadel. I mean, they can just fly everywhere, and if the army is not there, you can just go and kill stuff in the base. I mean, free kills, seriously. So more phoenixes coming. I should actually start transitioning into a fleet beacon sometime soon. But does not seem like it's happening. And, well, what is going on here? There is nothing. So this guy is not rebuilding his economy that well. He should just drop down four mules. I mean, what the hell do you have this en energy for? And well, blue does not have a good economy. And I mean, look at this. Look at this. Barely had. Okay, it's pretty decent saturation there. Teal is doing pretty good, but he's on one base, which is really bad for him. I just think I saw something there. I think I just sniped a few units right here, but I'm not sure. So, the ex my expo is going fairly well. There's a lot of zealots here. There is a fight going down here. My uh, my ally is actually running away because my phoenixes are almost there. 
What I will try to do, we'll see this in a second. I've got a lot of phoenixes, and now I'm just picking up stalker. I don't even care whether I kill them or not. I'm just picking them up to prevent them from firing. Here is stalker's hydra. I actually managed to target one hydra. And I forgot to move my phoenixes up front, but look at this. My This army was like halved for like 10 seconds. How long does this last? Yeah, 10 seconds. The army was halved, giving, buying us a lot of time, allowing us to destroy absolutely everything. And that looks like a units loss. I'm still at 2,000 units. Uh, resources loss at 20 units. It just shows how effectively I'm using these phoenixes. I just checked their kills while they're, while they're idle. One of them left. So, two kills. Uh, come on, another idle set. There was seven, one, three, six, four, three. That's a lot. And you, I, I mean, Vegeta, his name is Aish, but whatever. Says fail after these guys leave. I mean, they fail an attack. And, I mean, these guys have literally been harassed to death. These phoenixes did a lot of work here. They were about to go in and take out these remaining probes as well. And we look at the units lost. I lost 20 units. That 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 is really little. I mean, look at this: 7,000, 6,000, 550, and I mean, these 20 units lost. I mean, this is just pure frustration for the enemy players. If they just see this amount of phoenixes and they don't get any kills whatsoever, while I just do massive amounts of damage, even if I don't kill their units, I j I am able to disable them. I am. They know they cannot stop my phoenixes, they cannot expand because I can pick up any moving probes, drones, or if they actually started the expansion, uh, my allies will see it, they will move in, and they will destroy it. And if anything is moving towards my ally, I can again pick those up and destroy them while they are moving. Or I can just take out their main uh, stuff in their mains because their army is not present. So yes, phoenixes are very good in 3v3s, I'm not sure about 2v2s, and then pretty sure they'll, they'll probably be even way better in 4v4s. And I seriously recommend you start using them because, I mean, these are just so awesome. Uh, what you have to keep in mind though, is to keep your macro up. I mean, it's very hard for me. I know my macro suffers terribly from phoenixes. Not because they're expensive or anything, which they are not. I'm, I, I'm actually... Sup if I would actually keep my best at macro, I would be able to use four stargates to produce phoenixes. And... Well... Seriously, the phoenixes are extremely awesome. They disable units. They can pick off anything, and it's really and it's really fun to use. I mean, just try it once for fun. And even if you lose, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have your fun. So let's see the income tab just to show what how this looks like. Well, yes, we did not have such high income, I and my friends, since we were constantly fighting. We were not saturating everything properly. I mean, I don't know I wasn't. But I mean, this is one of our really worst games we have played. I mean, looking at this performance, this looks really bad after analyzing it properly. I know during other games, we usually get... Everybody goes three bases at least. We even go four bases later on, and I transition into carriers. I mean, I keep a lot of phoenixes. They, do, they usually don't even die, but I just you know, get those carriers, get a mothership, you know, just to have some things that can take out turrets and spore crawlers and photon cannons. And my ally usually goes for Colossi. I mean, Vegeta, where is he? Okay, he, what does he have? He usually goes for Colossae, and I think I should stop talking already. But yeah, Phoenixes are really epic. I will probably bring you more games with these really epic Phoenixes. And I just and I just noticed I had the health bars turned on throughout the whole video. Yeah, sorry about that, and goodbye.